Coach, three days in, first day in shells. Um, different intensity today. I mean, you know, I, football's played in pads, so when you start putting on a little bit of padding, I'm sure it, it changes for the guys, right? Yeah, I mean, they're excited. They're excited to get out there and thump a little bit, and and it is. I mean, it's not football when you don't have pads on. You're one hundred. How much easier is it, you know, when you get into a fall camp and you've got a full roster and, and you're closer to the season, you know who's going to be there when, when you're, you know, kind of filling out those special teams units and figuring out a role for who's going to do what? Well, I'll tell you, in spring, we, those guys, our guys work their tails off. And all you do in spring practice is you build your player's portfolio, right? So each player, you figure out what they can and can't do. And, you know, and then you reaffirm it right now in, um, you know, in, in our uh, drills that we're doing in special teams. And so we got a really good idea what our, what our guys' skill sets are and where to plug them in. And we got a lot of dudes, man. I mean, a lot of RLDs, real live dudes that are flying around and, and we, should, we should wreck shop. Right here in front. Yep. Uh, Vince Ferrar, 99.1, the sports animal. Uh, Coach Heupel had mentioned that everybody got some special teams rep on one of those units. Can you take us through kind of that process of starting to pare down and who you're going to put in one unit and then getting a look at everybody on special teams? No, you're, you're a hundy because you want, you, again, you want to identify everybody's skill set, right? And for our players, what I told them our first meeting, there might be a starting corner, starting receiver. He might play on one potentially might not play on any of them, right? But when those guys, to build their, um, you know, to their skill set to uh, go on to the next level to help themselves, what we do is we take every rep that they do in practice and we put them in a folder. So let's say you got a starter that has only played on one and the, the scouts come in and they say, well, shoot, man, can he play on kickoff? Can he be on punt? I'll, be, I'll pull up tape. I'll be like, right here. I mean, this is rated R. Are you kidding me? So that's what we do to identify those guys. Then it's a puzzle. It's putting guys in the right places, right? Taking guys, taking, leaving tread on the, on the tires of a lot of starters and developing young kids, young players, giving them a role. They might get 30 reps in the game. Shoot, that's, that's like being a starter on offense or defense. So it's a, it, there's just a, there's, there's a formula to it. And it's ever changing too. All right, kickoff return. You don't have to be a real make you miss type guy, but you got to be a guy who can run through the dog on smoke. You know, you ever you remember um, tell, or not um, Days of Thunder? You remember when he dropped the hammer and went through the smoke? That's what the video I show him. I mean, that's what kickoff that's what kickoff returns like. I mean, you got bodies everywhere, man, and you got if you're scared, you better call nine one one. You you got to run through the damn smoke. Punt returner, now you look like a, you look for a fart in a skillet. You look for a guy, a fart in a skillet, a guy who can make you miss, you know. A guy one cut, get vertical, you know, that, that elusive guy. So it's a little bit different. And, you know, punt return, it's not like kickoff. You don't have everybody coming down full bore. I mean, you got windows and you got space and you have levels. So you can be a little more, you can be a, more, a little more of a, a guy who's going to make some cuts from inside out. Uh, Byron Young had a really, uh, you know, solid spring practice. I wonder about his first couple of days here in fall camp. Has there been some carry over there? Well, he's a guy who I, I think our strength staff, Coach Schmidt, and, and our whole staff did an unbelievable job. He came here at 220 pounds. He's 250 right now, and he's faster, and he's more flexible, and he's a lot more explosive. So he's a guy that um, you know keeps on progressing, and, and he can be as good as he wants to be. When we first talked to you, you said you wanted a water ski to work. How many times have you been able to do that? None, because doggone Malibu hasn't called me back yet, man. I got my boat back in, uh, back in Nebraska. I need to get my, I need to get one here. Some of those other guys at, at your position with, with Tyler Barron and Bryce Neeson, how have you seen them kind of from the spring to now? Have you seen them kind of have the summers that you guys were probably hoping they, they would have? 
yeah, there's a lot of guys, you know, Roman Harrison, Tyler, and we already talked about BY, um, just a lot of guys. I mean, shoot, it's early. It's the first day of, of half pads, day three. So, you know, those guys, they're understanding the system. They're out there. They're a lot more comfortable, which allows them to play a lot faster and allows them to play. We just got to keep playing with better technique and, and just get, you know, just getting better every day. But I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, he's he's a guy who's extremely explosive, and he's just got that. He's country strong. I mean, he got that. He got that. You know, just some great strength to him and great fast twitch. So it's just you know just getting him out there and getting him used to the defense, and and so it's a work in progress. Hey, appreciate it, guys.